Welcome back, y'all. My name is Octavian, and today I'm here to tell y'all about how to get involved during college. Uh, a lot of y'all um, will probably be uh, college students that's watching this video or high school students, um, and it applies to both of y'all. You just, uh, it, in this video, just trying to figure out like how to get involved in your school, basically. Um, and because there's plenty of things that schools offer, universities offer, high schools offer, that are fun activities that you can figure out what you're passionate about, uh, extracurriculars that you feel like you're, um, that can like gauge your interest and you can decide like either, yeah, like find something that's like a new hobby or s something that you actually truly want to do for the rest of your life. So, um, this video is that kind of source. Uh, why am I talking about it? Because I have been involved my entire life. I've been involved in sports, I've been involved in clubs, um, involved in leadership positions, all that. So, um, and especially now, now, um, this specifically this year, um, I'm doing, uh, I've vice president of two clubs, uh, doing two different research, uh, doing two different pieces of research in different, uh, actual fields of study, um, doing an internship, um, making YouTube videos for y'all to watch. Um, yeah, I, it, I'm doing a lot. So like I, of all people, I think I have a little bit of knowledge about how to get involved on uh, your campus and get involved uh, with extracurriculars. Um, so uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. After you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. There you go. Great, thank you. Um, so yeah, video. The first way to get involved is to uh, go to, and look at flyers. Usually around your school or your um, your university, your college, there's usually flyers all around that, uh, that advertise different clubs and uh, activities that, that happen on, on campus. So if you go to like, if, if you're at, if you're on high school, if you go around the main office, um, or yeah, right when you walk inside the building, they, they may have a bulletin board, at least my high school did, and they have all the different uh, activities and clubs that people with the new clubs, the old clubs that are being advertised on uh, on the school grounds, and that you can look up there and look and see like is there anything that uh, that is interesting to you, right? Um, same thing with the university. You go to like your union, your main um, center space, and you can find a whole bunch of information about clubs through going there because um, of the flyers that they advertised. Also. Part of that is asking your uh, your counselor because they they have an office, um, and you can also ask them um, your guidance counselor for your major or whatever, and you can ask them about any clubs, and they will probably ask you about your interests, your hobbies, whatever, and that, and then or they'll give you a list of all the clubs that are offered. You can go down that list and start seeing stuff and highlighting stuff that sounds interesting and passing on stuff that doesn't. So those are kind of linked together in that sense. Um, second thing that you can do in order to uh, get more involved is, yeah, ask around. Ask uh, professors, um, ask your friends, your peer group, your roommates, um, anybody on campus or uh, at your school. They start asking around about stuff that sounds interesting or something that you are interested in. Um, and it's not just, just specifically clubs or sports or something. This also includes research. This also includes internships. Um, this includes uh, how to get into grad school um, and like grad, uh, pre-graduate programs and things of that nature. You, the best, uh, the best thing that I've heard um, relating to this um, that my mom told me is closed mouths don't get fed, right? So if you don't speak up, no one's gonna, no one's gonna hear you. No one's gonna try to just is, opportunities may not just fall into your lap. I mean, they can. Of course they can. Anything is possible. But if you don't speak up and try to voice your uh, voice your opinions and voice your interest, then um, it's hard for people to know what you're actually interested in and what you want to do. So definitely going out of your way and saying, like, hey, like I'm interested in this, like talking to people, getting, um, getting your uh, name out there, that kind of like way kind of like, that doing that will definitely help you uh, get more people um, to know, like, or get more information for you to know 
like what is being advertised and what's around and what are your options as far as like extracurricular activities, right? Then uh, that was number two. Three, um, this is like, and this is probably like, I don't know if every school does this, but uh, my school does it. And it's called an involvement fair. Involvement fair is basically this uh, big event where all this, uh, all the clubs at the university, uh, this is more also tailored more to college, um, but they may have it in high schools too. But yeah, they have this event in uh, at the university, and all the clubs kind of gear up. They, at least in the past, uh, before the COVID thing, um, in the past they set up uh, all the tables and booths so you can go around our, our oval and you'll be able to look around and see all these different clubs and. Uh, see like what activities and stuff were offered at the school. So um, you could like meet some of the people, the, some of the exact board. You could get free candy, free shirts, whatever, all that good stuff, right? So uh, this year they had it over Zoom, so they came to our Zoom like little window and was able to like talk to us, meet us, figure out what what they were interested in, um, and like figure out what we we're about, all that good stuff, right? So that also, if your school offers that, definitely go to it. It's it's definitely something fun. Um, my school offers a fall one, and then they also have a spring one. The spring one's not as popular, um, and not as many. I, not all the clubs go to it, I think, but the the fall one, I think, almost all of them try to go or try to get a spot. So um, yeah, like if you have the opportunity, to, like if your school has the opportunity, definitely go if you're looking for more things to get involved in, because that um, is definitely important. Also, I didn't mention this, uh, including involvement. You got internships, research, but then all also volunteering. Volunteering is also a very cool thing that you get uh, you get to learn about by going to different clubs because there's different service clubs they like to do. Um, then they have like Greek life, they have fraternities and sororities. Um, so like, and all of that stuff is very is very fun, and like you get to learn um, a lot more about yourself and a lot more about other groups and people as well. So definitely like doing those is is very uh, beneficial. Uh, but yeah, those are my three main um, ways to get involved around campus is is basically, yeah, uh, going and looking at flyers, finding the flyers and slash and asking your guidance counselor about um, opportunities to talking around, asking professors, um, friends, roommates, all that good stuff, asking them um, about things and opportunities that they, you can do to get involved. And then three, uh, involvement fair or um, like a, yeah, kind of like a career fair, maybe, I don't know, um, that can, uh, that can, like, provide you all the stuff that is around your campus, and that you know, like, whatever, whatever is called for your school, that you know the different things that your school offers. So, yeah, that's the video. Thank you all for watching. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I will catch y'all later. Deuces. Peace.